All right, so let's get started. First thing, got to give you a little um, explanation as to why my hair is up. I'm dyeing my hair today. It is so greasy and disgusting. Like, just don't ask, okay? Just, just don't ask. All right, so brows are done, and we're going to go in. I have um, a base on my eyelids already. I have the NYX full coverage no I'm lying above and beyond full coverage concealer so that's that if you guys follow me on snapchat you know that I have rearranged my room lighting has been like off for me so I was trying to remedy that so I move things around I hope the lighting is good we're gonna be using backdrop because my bed is right behind it so just in case you're wondering if you don't follow me on snapchat guys please do I have fun on there so Base is on, we're going to go in with Creme Brulee by Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to take a big fluffy domed brush, ooh that's powdery today, and we're just going to set that base, nothing exciting, just going to do that so when we go in with the Makeup Geek shadows, everything blends nice and smooth, I am so excited about these shadows. I honestly didn't think that my package was going to be coming until Wednesday or Thursday of next week, and it's it's only Saturday, so Saturday when I'm filming. So that was a nice surprise. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to go into our <laughs> shadows. Again, if you filmed me on Snapchat, I showed you me unboxing these. This is the starter kit. I paid $59 for this. You get nine shadows, and then you get this really, really super sleek um, magnetic um, travel case. Comes with a really pretty mirror, and then you've got this is like, as you can see, it's kind of like mirror-like um, gunmetal. Really pretty. It says Makeup Geek on it, so I absolutely love it. Okay, so these are the shadows, and I am in love. I don't know what I want to do if I want to do a purple look. I really want to do a purple look today, um, but I think I'm not going to. I think I'm gonna delve into the more neutral warm shades in the center so let's just do it I talked too much today okay so let's pick up this fluffy brush and we're gonna go into creme brulee here which is the shade here on the corner just gonna pick up some of that oh, ho, ho, ho. okay I'm really excited okay and we're just gonna throw that in the crease I am like always late when it comes to picking up new products. I don't know why, but I just, it took me forever to like bite the bullet on the Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I really don't have an explanation as to why. I just, I just dropped the ball, I guess. So this is like really a perfect transition shade. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything crazy today. Um, I'm not going anywhere, so I figured I would just use these shadows and do something just kind of neutrally. We'll see where it goes. You know how it is with makeup. You always say you're gonna do something and then you just keep going and going and going. So that's that. You guys close enough? A little bit closer. Okay. Now I'm going to go, let's go on the lid and let's go with Glamorous. I think this is Glamorous. Glamorous, which is like this, um, like rusty kind of color. It's kind of golden. Let's go with golden. And I'm just going to take my um, Royal and Lang Nickel brush and dip into that. And I'm not wetting any of these shadows or spritzing my brush at all. I just want to see how they perform by themselves. Because, again, I am new. Ooh, that's pretty. See that? I'm new to Makeup Geek, so I just want to see 
what all the hype is about. You guys know that I haven't been filming much. Um, something has been going on. My aunt died last week, so that's where I've been. It's been like two weeks since I put out a video, and I'm sorry, but, you know, stuff happens. So, this is a really pretty shade. Really pretty and really pigmented. I like it. Alright, so we're just patting this on the lid and I'm not bringing it all the way on the in, inner corner. Um, so I'm doing it in the center to the outer part of the lid. Really pretty. Okay. So now we are going to deepen things up a little bit. I'm going to go in with just a Sonia Kashuk small shader brush, like a fluffy one. And I'm going to grab, let's do mocha. Let's do some mocha there. And I'm just going to use that to deepen up the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just going to pop that there. Really pigmented. And I'm just going to blend that out with my Coastal Sense brush. Hmm. I'm going to build it up. Blend it out again. Am I not making like the weirdest faces? Like <laughs> I'm going to glimpse of myself. I am making like the weirdest faces. Like, oh, geez. Okay, so. These are really pretty shadows. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into Glamorous and just. Add a little bit more right here just to blend those two colors together. Okay, and now I'm going to take a crease brush. And I think I'm going to go back into creme brulee a little bit. Actually, no, not a crease brush. I'm sorry. I'm going to take my blending brush and go back into creme brulee. And I'm just going to use that to blend out the crease because I don't want to do like a really dramatic crease. I kind of just want it light and diffused.
think I'm going to skip on lashes and liner today, too. You ever, like, go for, like, long periods of time without wearing, like, really glam makeup and, like, you kind of just, like, feel rusty when you get back into it? That's me. So, <laughs> so we don't jack it up today. We're just going to keep it, going to keep it light. I like that. I love these shadows. They're really, really, really impressing me right now. Okay, so small detailer brush. I'm just going to pick up some Shimmer Shimmer. That one there. Pick up a little bit and I'm just going to pop it on the inner part of the eye where I left it blank. Just because I want to see like what this, what the hype is about with this shade in particular because everybody's always like in a corner highlight and it really is pretty. Very pretty. Really pretty. Just gonna do a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in with a crease brush here and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of mocha on the tip and I'm just going to pop a little bit more and then just blend it up on that outer part there goes that face again <laughs> oh god so I have an order of Morphe coming in really excited I'll probably be doing um, an unboxing of that I've snagged the 35 O palette as well as some brushes I'm really really excited so Again, that should be coming up next week, or by the weekend, rather. And I also have some stuff from BH Cosmetics coming. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so that's it for that. I'm going to go in to Creme Brulee and just put a little bit on my brow bone. What do we think? Nothing, you know, crazy. I just kind of wanted to see what these shadows did. So I think I need a little, a uh, little bit more blending over here. There we go. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm just gonna use. Let's put on my lashes. This is my, this is my e.l.f. one. This is like my two dollar, I got it from the dollar store, to tell you the truth. I'm just going to curl my lashes. too close <laughs> and I'm gonna use my Jordana best, La uh, best lash extreme just pop that on
clump, clump, clump. Right in the middle, always. Okay. So that's it for... Ooh, that's... Get that clump out of there. Okay, so... That's it for the eyes. I'm going to finish up my face, and then we will chit-chat about what I think okay, about Okay, so these. I finished up my face. Um, if you want to know what I what I slapped on, <laughs> I'm wearing the Maybelline um, Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation in the shade 20. This is classic ivory. Um, for concealer, I just used my Maybelline Age Rewind because it's tried and true and also loved. To set my under eyes, I have the cream shade here from the Wet n Wild Contouring um, Palette. This is in the shade, this is Dulce De Leche, the lighter one, the one with the more um, cool tone bronzer. So I used this highlight. It's kind of like a, kind of looks like, hmm. Hold down a minute. Hold down. Kind of looks like creme brulee. Creme brulee is a little bit more, um, a little bit darker. Just a, a tinge darker. But anyway, use that. To set the entire face, I used the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not a bronzer. It's got like a little bit of sheen to it. So I like using this when I want like glowy skin. So I use that. To warm up my face, I used the other Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. This one's a little bit warmer, so I used this one. This is the um, duo with the more yellow highlighting powder. So I used this one to warm up my face. I don't have blush on, but I did pop on from the e.l.f. Bronzer Kit. This is the new one. This top shade here in the corner, it's like a warm, sun-kissed bronze with a little bit of sparkle. So I just kind of put that on my cheekbones there this is a really really awesome bronzing palette by elf it's called bronze beauty but okay so on my lips i just popped a little bit of where did i put it um this is a milani from the milani matte line this is matte innocent right there and then on top i just popped a little bit of the la colors high shit high shine shea butter lip glosses this is in the shade Snuggle, I believe. Yeah, Snuggle. It's like a gold, like a golden brown kind of shade. So that is that. Oh, also for highlight from the Wet n Wild um, Illuminating Palette, this is Catwalk Pink. I just grabbed the lightest shade with my Real Techniques setting brush and just dusted that on my cheekbones. So that's that. Now, back to the Makeup Geek palette. Um, Eyeshadows. I absolutely love them. I think they are beautiful. I think they blend out amazing. Uh, super pigmented. I didn't notice any fallout. They did kick up a little bit of powderiness when I dipped my brush, but I mean, they're creamy. They are high quality shadows. You're going to get a little bit of kick up with good shadows. So you got to take the good with the bad. I really love it. I think that the shade... Um, Glamorous, the bronzy one that I put on the lid is just absolutely stunning. Do you see this? Mocha, great for the outer V. Love Shimma Shimma. Um, yeah, I have like no complaints. I am really, really, really excited to use these purples up here. That's probably going to be next. I just love purple. Purple looks good on brown eyes especially. So it's just kind of something that I um, just gravitate towards so really really excited to use those this shade prom night the sparkly purple one in the middle the pan isn't doing it justice it is just so pretty I cannot wait to pop this on my lid and then uh, drama queen the darker purple mm. I love purples can you tell um, overall guys I think this is an amazing amazing starter kit if you're new to makeup geek this is the way to go. $59 for the whole thing. You get this magnetic palette, and then you also get nine shades. And this mirror is just amazing for travel. It's sleek. It's compact. It's classy looking. It's just a really, really great piece to have in your collection. I think, again, if you're starting out with Makeup Geek, you don't know where to go. They've got like 60, 70 shadows um, just for their regular colors and then of course they've got the foiled ones and then they've got new ones that are coming out I think soon but in any way in any event I digress this is great to start um your uh journey into makeup geek really really awesome I think it gives you some great crease 
and transition shades, some great shimmers for the lid. This black is just bomb. I just think it's a really great, great deal. So 59 bucks. Shipping was really, really fast. I got to give it to Makeup Geek. I ordered it on Wednesday, <clears throat> and it's Saturday, so came super fast. So again, guys, if you have never tried out Makeup Geek products, I highly recommend these shadows. That's all I can recommend so far because it's all that I've tried. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the lighting is okay. Hope the background is okay. Give me some feedback. Let me know because if it's not good, I need to know. And the only way I'm going to know is if you guys tell me. So tell me how the lighting is. Tell me how you like having this as a background. I'm obviously going to be changing up the fabrics or versus like seeing the back of my room. I kind of like the background. I think it makes it look a little bit more streamlined, classy. Just let me know what you guys think, okay? Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please just give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. What else is there? I'm on it all. Just um, click the link, um, click the link. The links for all of my social media will be in the down bar, so check that out. And I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.